For the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading. I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll see what's coming up for the second week of September. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius, in the recent past, we've got the Emperor and its pair with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Emperor, it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed. And that's what you must think about when you get this card in a reading, because when hard choices have to be made, it's going to be important for you to maintain your concentration and your focus. Well, the emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is the time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So it's all about enjoying the assertiveness and confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best, and if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So, I guess you're probably saying, so what does that mean? Well, it means that it means that you could have been dealing with someone that had a hard time opening up their heart. Uh, this person could have been a leader, a boss, really arrogant type. Uh, the emperor doesn't want to come across as being vulnerable. So, they don't really show any emotions. Now, it's what the Knight of Pentacles. That, the Knight of Pentacles is a great card in the tarot. Uh, it's someone that's very slow, steady, stable, civilized. And it looks like this person was ready to reach out. Uh, it comes with messages, this Knight of Pentacles. So you're probably communicating a lot with someone that was like this Knight of Pentacles. Um, yeah, this person wanted to reach out to you, communicate. They had something to say. There could have been a lot of communication. Slow, stable, civilized. Nine of Pentacles, they make really good fathers. So, I don't know if you Aquarius in the reason that you were dealing with two people. Because we got two interesting energies here. Someone that's closed off, guarded, they don't really open up. Show no emotion, and then you got another energy here that's stable, civilized, and good father type. So, some of you were dealing with two different people, and if it wasn't two different people, you could have been dealing with someone like this emperor that just didn't want to come across as being vulnerable. You didn't know where you stood with this person, they didn't open up their heart, and you could have been looking for someone like the Pentacles. Someone more civilized and stable, take things so. You could have been looking for someone like the Knight of Pentacles, but you didn't get that with the Emperor. The Emperor just showed no emotion. So that's what we got for the reason pass. I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if you were dealing with two people, two different people, or same person, and you were just hoping for someone more like the Knight. But let's get off of the past. It might show up again in the reading, but these two people could show up again in, in the rest of the reading. But let's see what's going on with the present time. So we got the Knight of Swords coming up for the second week of September and also the Six of Swords. Now the Knight of Swords, it brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. It means that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy, energy being in a peak. And if you're waiting on news, if you're wondering if someone's going to reach out to you, um, yes, they are. This person, the Knight of Swords, comes in really fast, and they cut out whatever is in their way just to get to you. So you're likely to like what you hear. But yeah, not sorts is about a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you're unlikely 
to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. It's a good thing. This person is going after their heart's desire. So yeah, you get somebody that wants to be with you, reach out to you. You probably be, they'll be flying in and really fast. They'll be charging in just to be with you. Like I said, this person will cut out whatever is in his way just to just to get next to you. That's what the Knight of Swords is. They charge in really fast. And they're planning. So it's with the Six of Swords, which is great because the Six of Swords is about resolution, recovery. Yeah, you see how these two people, they're in a boat or a canoe or whatever that is. And it looks like they probably just got out of a storm that they left behind in the waters. But now they're, they're sailing into summer waters. Yeah, there's no storm. Everything is just smooth. And it feels just right. So you got someone that um, is charging in to be with you. They don't want any drama. Uh, they want, if there wasn't some drama, they want re recovery and resolution. Uh, yeah, and I'm picking up that you two Aquarius, you don't want to fight. You just want peace with this person. This could be one of these people from the recent past. Because keep in mind, the recent past could have been a, a week ago, a month ago, three months ago, six months ago or more. So it could have been one of these energies that we just talked about. Emperor or the Knight of Pentacles, or it could be someone new. Yeah, this person will, will not like drama. They just want peace. And they like, um, you know, just, um, uh, they don't want to fight whoever this is. They're just coming in to be with you and um, they're planning to take action. And yeah, if you're wondering about someone, if you want if they're going to reach out to you, yes, they are with this Knight of Swords. And um, they're planning to take action towards you. So let's see what the challenge is. We got this Queen of Swords and Page of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, it points to a woman in your life. This is the type of woman that's not to be trifled with. She could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. And if this is not a person, it can point to the need for you, Aquarius, to be really forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. You could feel like you need to put your foot down. Because the Queen of Swords, it indicates that your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now it's about just going after it. It's a very forceful energy, and a lot of people find this energy really abrasive. And it's with this page of swords now the page of swords it can stand it can stand for actual person in your life and if this is the case it will represent a person who's probably younger than you because when you hear the word page in the tarot that's a student that's youth that's immaturity or like i said someone that's younger than you and it indicates that uh, this person wants to reach out some type of message is coming in now, in this instance, because it's a page and he's got a huge sword in his hand, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear. Page of Swords, it tells us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might need to study their body language. So, Aquarius, the challenge Queen of Swords and Page of Swords. So this person that's coming in, this Knight of Swords, I'm picking up that it could be one of these these energies that we just talked about. This Emperor, Knight of Pentacles, or Knight of Swords. This person doesn't want any drama or any fighting, but it looks like uh, they come across as immature to you. Yeah, the things that they, they do, you'll probably find really immature. Yeah. Because um, the Page of Swords is an immature energy. Like I said, they try too hard or they push too fast. 
This person could watch, do a lot of watching or stalking you or keeping tabs on you. So you're not really feeling their energy, even though they don't want to fight. They don't want conflict, but they bring it anyway, because that's what the Page of Swords does. Yeah, so it looks like because we got the Queen of Swords here also for the challenge, it looks like you could decide to maybe cut them out. Yeah, or just be very forceful, have a forceful energy with them. I'm picking up that a lot of you Aquarius, you're going to cut this person out. Yeah, because you don't really, you're not really feeling the energy that they're bringing. It's just the immaturity. They stalk you. You know, they watch you, keep tabs on you. And um, this person could also be a lot younger than you. So they don't want drama or conflict, but they bring it because that's how their energy is. And it looks like you're going to cut this person out. In a very forceful type of way. You might be just really bold. You might say some really cold things. Some you might use a forceful type of energy. So that's a challenge. Now let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got this beautiful Ace of Wands and Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, very positive ones. Could be in the realm of accomplishments. Could be work, career related, romance, love. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know, Aquarius, things are about to get better very soon. Because this card depicts something upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you'll be feeling energetic, very positive. If you're not feeling that way now, you'll be feeling that way really soon. Because this wand, it's not just sitting above the clouds. It's burst really fast above the clouds. So... You'll be feeling really good soon if you're not feeling that way already. Yeah, it's also a good time to start something new. Now, we've got this Ten of Cups also for the outcome, which is another one of, um, another one of the most uplifting cards in a reading. It comes to happiness, perhaps in a more mature kind of way. It's a... Uh, um, Really, really good card to get in a reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. Everyone wants it. It's beautiful. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. Also, being spiritually fulfilled is a part of the picture. Great card to see, regardless of any question. So Aquarius, the outcome, Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. It looks like you're looking for a new beginning or someone could be coming in and wanting a new beginning with you. Could be a new person, could be one of these people that's showing up all throughout the reading. But I'm picking up that for a lot of you, it could be a new person because the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings. This person will have a lot of passion for you and... It will feel like a dream come true because that's what the Ten of Cups is. A Ten of Cups is a dream come true. Yeah, so you got something really beautiful about to happen. But it looks like you go through a lot with someone or maybe more than one person. Yeah, but you realize you gotta, you're going to cut some things out because that Queen of Swords, that's what she does. And... She's one that's not to be trifled with. So I wouldn't want to be the one that deals with you when you decide to do your, your cutting out. Yeah, she's not to be played with. And you're not really feeling this, this immature energy from someone. Yeah, even though, like I said, they want to move. Somebody wants to move into calmer waters with you. So they're reaching out really fast. Yeah, so... Beautiful. I like the outcome for you, Aquarius. This great new beginning could be a new love. The wands, they deal a lot about pat. They deal a lot with passion. So whatever this is, you're going to have a lot of passion for it. Could be a situation if you know it's not love. You're going to have a lot of passion for it. And it's going to make you really happy. It's going to feel like a dream come true. So, Aquarius, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonates. 
As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And um, what's coming up in the next few weeks for the, for the both of you? So I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It will pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and healthy. Take care of yourself. Please come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. Great day. Great day.